Hello again. Uh, with us here now is Miguel C. Tavares and Tiago Costa from Portugal. Hello. Hi. Hi. Who has made the, the film that we'll be viewing after the interview, Secluded Stillness. Yes. Okay. Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? We can hear you. Can you hear us? Okay. Nice. Okay. Thank you. So, your film Secluded Stillness is uh, your contribution to Arc Film Festival Lund. Tell us shortly about, uh, well, we can start with you. Who are you? So, we are a collective that get together sometimes to make uh, films. Uh, our films process is based on our experience of the, the places that we go to visit. And uh, we are interested in this kind of uh, subjective idea of experience of space, our, our, our experience. Um, Miguel is a, we are, well, it's Miguel. Miguel is an architect. I am an architect, but Miguel works mainly on film. I still work uh, as, an on, as an architect. And Anna, which is a producer, also as a big part of the whole thing. We work as a team. And uh, we started uh, working together in a film about uh, Villa Lane, about Valerio Olgiati's house in Alentejo. And then by invitation, we did this film that is a film about um, Barão Uter, which is a Portuguese Swiss studio based in Switzerland. And he made an invitation to, to make, a, make a film about his house slash cellar house, very small house in Azores, in an island, volcanic island in, uh, in Pico. So uh, yeah, that's, that's a little bit uh, the introduction. <laughs> Thank you, very interesting. Uh, what is the best or most rewarding part of making a film? The most, uh, I would say it's the process of coming to, um, to trying to create an idea of a experience. So since the beginning to go to see a house, how do you represent this house? And trying to come out with some ways of representing uh, architecture. Yeah. And um, it's, I think it's a very, we are based very on processes. We go, we stay at the house, we know the house, and then we start to, what can we do to, to somehow uh, represent our experience, our subjective experience of space. Uh, and it's also, as we are architects and we also are interested in films, uh, it's a way of combining two elements that we are very interested in. Um, we think that um, the film has to offer something new about architecture and uh, we are interested in this way of representing uh, architecture. So I think it's always a surprise. It's, it, we could say that it's always a, a surprising outcome that we create. We never know how to represent any building. So we go there and then how can we do something about that it. is somehow true about it? And your movie, Excluded Stillness, worth, works quite experimentally with framing. Is that, do you think, from your backgrounds as architects? Uh, well, initially the film was, was uh, this is a very specific film because it was an invitation to do a website specific, something that, uh, I don't know if it, that's even a, a real term, but it's, it's made for a, a website of the house. And um, and um, lately we were trying to make it a, a physical piece and uh, we, when you're in the house, the house is a hexagon and the windows are very, they are inclined, they are uh, they're very strong with this, this uh, black structure that divides the landscape. And it's, a, it's well, it's almost a, a mimic of the, the house, this idea of the windows that sometimes you see some things and then you don't. So it was a little bit of a play with the, with the windows of the house itself. And it's something that we hope that in a physical space could work also as this, this experience, as this uh, mimetical experience of the house. Yeah, but this, also this idea of diptychal it was something that came out after we, we were there, we filmed and then 
we came up with this also with this idea of the diptych when we start to editing it. Yeah, we, yeah. we thought it was a good medium for a, this kind of sensory, sensorial uh, experience, experience yes. where image and sound are equally as important and uh, it's not so much uh, a narrative or a storyline it's more uh, it's more sensual a little bit more sensorial were there any difficulties when making the film i know you talk a lot about the process and out of experience at architecture school you always have a, a process a plan but it doesn't yeah. quite go as planned every time. Yeah. I think the, the, the first difficulty was to, to film on the island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, you know. So to get there, it was also difficult because it's an archipelago and then this island is in the middle of this archipelago. So to get there, it was, we had this difficult. So, and during the process? I, I think, the pro well, when we go there, we have an idea prior to get to the house and we destroyed completely the idea. The, the idea didn't work at all. And actually the title itself, the, the title, it's, uh, it's, it's, it should be, it's three ways. It's in Portuguese, English and German. And it's a reminder, uh, uh, a reminder of the first idea that we had because we were when we went there, we were with this friend, which is a Colombian girl that lives in Germany and speaks Portuguese. And you were in the middle of the ocean, and she would speak with her parents in Spanish and with her uh, uh, colleagues in okay. German and with us in Portuguese. And we are in the middle of this volcanic island. And it's with this all blackness and we are experiencing this contemporary experience of, uh, I don't know, somehow globalization or something like that. And in the end, it didn't work out, but uh, we left that on the title, this idea of this, uh, this shelter for a, a contemporary experience because the house, it is a shelter in terms, it's very, uh, let's say, uh, basic uh, basic uh, uh, architecture, the, the main principle of architecture is to be a shelter. But this is a shelter, it's a very small house, but a shelter that is elevated to an idea of, of living. And uh, that's what we try to to, exp to show a little bit. Yeah, yeah and you're, you're say, you say that you're working, you know, very, very, your process is very fluently and, uh, in, and as inspired by, you know, the setting and uh, the, 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 the what you're filming. So um, in that way, uh, I can imagine your uh, film is very, you know, in many other ways uh, affected by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's a little bit like architecture. We are as when we have a, like a plot of land always the land, the, the surroundings, the influence. The, so it's a little bit like our process, although Miguel never made arch architects, but, I, but our process in our heads is a little bit like this. We start from the, from the what is, what, what is around and try to make something. And we, we also spend, uh, when, we, when, we, when we can, we spend a lot of time also in this, for example, this project, we spend the first time that we visit on one week there. Yeah working on site, uh, deciding what to, we should do or not, writing the a script. So it's also part of the process for us is always very important and uh, to, to spend some time uh, on the place, on the, in this case, on the house and on the island to decide what to do. Yeah. Yeah, one can imagine that filmmaking and architecture can have the same similar, similar sketching uh, process. Did you notice that when working on this film? Yeah, yeah. yeah we share a little bit of our the methods. We share a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So even sketching can it's also part of the of the film as well. So, yeah. and also, idea of thinking about the film because we have uh, this architecture background. No, we study architecture, and I think there's that this influence our way of thinking also on when we are thinking about the the movie. When you are, we are sharing ideas and writing it. For sure, uh, this idea of thinking about, uh, I know, a project and the way that we learned to how to 
think about it, it, uh, it uh, influences. So what's next? Can you... Uh, do you have your, an, oh. <laughs> sorry, what's your next project? Can you speak a little about that? So we don't have a next project together because when we decide to make these films, they are very specific uh, projects. We are not interested in, we are very interested in uh, uh, very specific uh, projects and usually it's, it's a little bit uh, uh, outside our main work. Uh, although Miguel works with cinema, with the uh, architecture as well. But when we get together, it's a different process or I would say special houses, as I yes. believe this one is. So we don't have a next project. Maybe next year. <laughs> how is your relation with each other and has, how has that affected the film since you both work on separate things in the future? The, sorry? Sorry. Uh, sorry? How is your relationship with each other and how do you think that has affected the film? I, I, I would say it's a, it's a good relation, if not, <laughs> yeah. we, we couldn't work like, I think with this process that we have to, to, to do films, I think our relation has to be very good because we spend a lot of time together. together. We also during editing, because some of our work, is very, the editing part is very important. It's where we get together all our ideas and start to experimenting. And we spend a lot of hours working together and for sure our relation has to be good. If not, it couldn't work. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the, the, the thing of our, ourselves having separate projects and then coming together to these projects specifically, it helps. Yes. Otherwise it will be very, it will be very demanding. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> <laughs> well, without uh, further ado, I think we should watch your film. And thank you so much for joining us here at Arc Film Festival Lund. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Enjoy the film also. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Goodbye.